Well, you guys, Microsoft says you need to log in to keep your Windows 10 update. According to Mike, he reckons that is not true. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what Microsoft is saying on the European page of their website and also the American page of their website. Now, the commenter Mike says, I keep saying it's necessary to log into your Microsoft account. And he's saying, sorry, but you're incorrect or it isn't correct. And then goes on to say any comment. In other words, I think he's trying to say that I'm wrong, but I'm just going by what Microsoft say. So let's take a look at the Windows 10 Consumer Extended Security Updates ESU program. The Extended Security Updates ESU program was provided for Windows 10 customers with more secure options to continue to use in their Windows 10 PCs after October 14th, 2025. They go on to talk about what you'll need to do to be able to continue to use your computer and receive security updates using the ESU program. To enroll in the Consumer Windows 10 ESU program and make sure your device meets the following requirements. Device needs to be running Windows 10 version 22H2, Home, Pro, or even Education or Workstation editions. Devices need to have the latest updates installed. Also, the account used to sign in to your device must be an administrator account. And also, the ESU license will be associated with your Microsoft account used to enroll. That is to enroll when you are prompted to sign in to your Microsoft account if you typically sign in with a Windows local account. It says right there in black and white that you need to have a Microsoft account to sign in and enroll. Also, that account can't be a child's account. So you're going to need to basically be on Windows 10 version 22 H2, have any version of Windows 10, i.e. Home Professional Education or Workstation Edition, and basically have all of the latest updates installed on that device and be signed in to a Microsoft account. It says it right there in black and white. Of course, but they still carry on and say that I'm wrong or that the article is wrong. And yet this is on Microsoft's own website. You can't make this stuff up. And it says right there, the ESU license will be associated with the Microsoft account used to enroll. It says it right there. And that means that you are going to be having to sign in to a Microsoft account. And the next paragraph goes on to say the consumer ESU program can't be used by commercial devices. This means kiosk mode and other Active Directory domains and things like that. So you can't use it in a business environment. It has to be for home users because this is what this particular ESU program was designed for. Now, this next section will go on to answer everyone's questions that they have on this topic, including Mike's, who seems to think he knows more about it than what Microsoft do, and yet it's their own operating system. And it's clearly stated on their web page. It says right here, how much does Windows 10 ESU cost? A Microsoft account is required to enroll in the consumer ESU program. It says right there in black and white. And again, this is on the legal document on their website. It goes on to say, if you're already signed into your PC with a Microsoft account, you are eligible to enroll in the ESU for no additional cost. So as long as you remain signed in to your PC with the same account, says right there in black and white. Remember, this website here is for people that live inside the EEA, which is the European Economical Area. And this means there's going to be slightly different rules for this compared to people that live, say, in America. So let's go on. And it says, if you are signed in with a local account, you will be prompted to sign in with a Microsoft account right there in black and white. So once you signed in, you will have the option during the enrollment to process to stay signed in with your Microsoft account and enroll at no additional cost or make a one-time purchase to enroll without remaining signed in with your Microsoft account. So it goes on right here to say consumers in the European economic area can enroll in the ESU through one of the following ways after signing in with a Microsoft account. It says it right there. Users who signed in to a eligible PC with a Microsoft account, Microsoft account used to sign in to the ESU enrollment tool uh, will enable extended security updates on that device until 13th of October 2026. As long as you continue signing in 
to your Windows with a Microsoft account used to enroll. If you do not continue to sign into your PC with that Microsoft account, the eissue updates will be discontinued for your device after the period of up to 60 days. It goes on to say if your eissue updates have been discontinued for failing to sign in with your Microsoft account, you will need to re-enroll to resume updates. It says it clearly right there that you will need to sign into a Microsoft account uh, within 60 days. Otherwise, your enrollment to the extended security updates program will be discontinued and you will then have to re-enroll. Remember, this is for people that are living in the European economic area. This is what this web page is for. If you live in the United States or other areas, you will need to check their website for the rules and regulations for your area. And I'll show you that in a second. Now, the way people reply in comments as if I'm making this stuff up, it's on their own website. It says users with local account who do not want to sign in to an eligible PC with a Microsoft account, a one-time purchase of $30 or local currency equivalent plus applicable tax. This allows you to continue uh, to use that PC on a local account. No sign-in with a Microsoft account is required other than to make the purchase. You will still need to sign in to a Microsoft account to set up the enrollment program for the ESU. Then you can sign out and go back to a local account if you pay $30. If you do the free method, you're going to have to continually sign in to that Microsoft account every 60 days. It goes on to say we will enable extended security updates on that device through 13th of October to 2026. So it goes on to say that right there in black and white. I don't make this stuff up. I go and do my research and I read it just like you should be reading it before you enroll so you know exactly what you're getting into. It's no good telling me I'm incorrect or the document's incorrect. It's right there on Microsoft's website. It's that simple. I don't make it up. Microsoft writ the rules. Go and tell them. Now, remember, these rules for consumers are for the European Economic Area region. This means that we have rulings over here that Microsoft had to abide by. And again, that doesn't carry over to America. So their rules are going to be different. And your rules are going to be on your web page when you look at it. And it is different to what we have. So I'm going to quickly change this for our area into US, which is the United States. You just change the URL up the very top here and you'll see the wording will change. Now, I don't know whether this is a mistake or they just haven't added it onto the website or whether it's going to be completely different for people that live in the USA. But it says here the document is exactly the same apart from a couple of areas. One of them is how much does the Windows 10 ESU cost? It says you can enroll ESU in one of the following three ways at no additional cost if you are syncing your PC settings. And also you got redeem 1000 Microsoft reward points or you got a one time purchase for $30 or local currency equivalent to plus tax that you have to pay. And that is pretty much it right there. There's no real mention of you have to sign in every 60 days on the American website, but that's because you're having to either sync your PC to uh, Microsoft redeem your reward points, or you're going to have to pay $30. Those are your free options. You don't get the free enrollment option like we had in the EEA. So basically, they are slightly different. There is no mention of signing in every 60 days on their website in the USA or America. So you just have to work out uh, what is correct and what is not correct. All I know is... People that live in the EEA are getting it for free. And of course, Microsoft are saying that you have to sign in every 60 days. Whether they're going to enforce that, I really don't know. It really doesn't matter. You had to sign in to a Microsoft account to enroll in the first place, according to Microsoft on their website. So they've got your email anyway, and they've got you to sign in. Whether they enforce that to sign in every 60 days, I really don't know. I do think that people are making far too much of this whole giving your email address to Microsoft. I really do believe that they're just blowing it all out of proportion. You're getting an enrollment 
for another year of support for your old computer, uh, you're going to have to give them your email address. Make a Duff email address if that's what really makes you happy and sign up that way. They've already got some information from you from telemetry. You can't stop it all completely. And the funny part is people are giving their email addresses to Google, Facebook, Twitter, whatever it is on the internet. It's no big deal. Anyway, I hope this clears it all up and answers all your questions. You're going to have to give them an email address to enroll. And basically, whether they enforce that 60 days, I really don't know. I don't care. If that's the case, then buy yourself a new computer if you don't want to do it or use another operating system like Linux. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I do appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server. The link is in the video description. Have a good weekend. Bye for now.